and health authorities have been testing staff at the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital for COVID-19. Head of the COVID-19 response team speaking in an exclusive interview with TV3's Thomas Khan said the move is to curb the spread of the virus and to make the hospital environment safe for health workers and patients. The Cape Coast Teaching Hospital is one of the health facilities in the country providing health care for suspected and confirmed COVID-19 cases. To ensure staff of the facility are protected, management issued compulsory testing notice for COVID-19. Dr. Sally Fubawa is a senior medical officer and the head of the COVID-19 task force team at the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital. When um, we suspect a case, what we do is to isolate them and then hold them here. So we call here the holding bay. So once we hold them here, we are able to conduct the test. And then when the results come, then we decide the mode of treatment. He revealed the hospital was following a careful guide in dealing with suspected and confirmed COVID-19 cases. So once we get the contacts, then we then contact these persons to also quarantine, and then we take their samples for, for testing. So um, usually that is the process. And those that are quarantined, if you can quarantine at home, we look at the facilities at home to see if they are good enough for that. Otherwise, then we will have to bring you to the holding bay to keep you if your home setting is not good enough. Okay, and then we do that. He however called on the public for cooperation and to show love to persons affected. Meanwhile, the hospital has also directed the strict adherence to wearing of masks within the facility. The public relations officer of the hospital, Frederick Nyanka, also revealed management had provided face masks to all staff of the hospital. The news team also observed how staff and clients were screened and made to wash their hands before entering the hospital.